Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. It is Vlogmas Day 13. Lucky number 13. 13 because I'm going to take y'all to my childhood growing up since I was a little boy. This is something, y'all, right here that I had every Christmas. We didn't. We had the turkey, of course. But my grandmother, my mama's mom, my mom, what do they call a maternal grandmother we used to go to her house that we'd have dinner Christmas dinner at our house and then we'd go out in the country and go to my grandmother's house and that was a highlight of my Christmas y'all she had duck my grandmother raised ducks chickens goats pigs cows all that but this is the highlight of my Christmas y'all it's roast duck and dressing and that's what I'm doing today I'm gonna do it just like she did nothing fancy Gonna put some salt and pepper, a little seasoning on it, and bake it in the oven. And that is all I put on it. Very, very simple. And let it roast in the oven about, in about two, two and a half hours. And I'm gonna do some dressing. I ain't gonna do the video of dressing. I already did cornbread dressing last month. And I'll put the link in the back by, by, at the end of the video for my cornbread dressing. So let's get started here, y'all. Like I say, this is Vlogmas. I'm halfway through the Vlogmas here. Hope y'all been enjoying it. I've been getting a lot of good feedback on it. So that's an awesome thing. Okay. First thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to pat this dry. So I'm going to season the back first, then I'm going to season the front. I'm going to pat this dry with a clean paper towel. Put a little oil on here so the oil will stick. Rub that oil on there. Rub it down there. Only reason I'm putting oil on it so the spices will stick, y'all because you know the duck has plenty of fat on it so it don't definitely need no oil but and I'm gonna really season this liberally y'all got a little cavernous got a little of my sweet and spicier shake and of course salt and pepper season it really really good okay we're gonna turn it over flip it over here put the, put it back in that wing the wing there now do the same thing. Try to keep a clean one hand clean when y'all do this, y'all. Y'all see I'm using one hand clean for rubbing and all that. Okay. Put my, you know, I'll do my sweet and spicy shake. I got my cavernous here. Put that on there. And my salt and pepper. That's all I'm putting, y'all. Season really, really liberally. Okay. Let me wash my hands here. Ready? Okay. Now, all I'm gonna do, like I say, this is so simple, y'all. This is so, so, so simple. The roasted duck. Some people are intimidated with ducks. They never uh, cooked ducks before, but believe me, they're very, very simple. So all I'm gonna do now, let me get this out the way. I'm gonna put a little water in the bottom of this pan. The reason I'm gonna do that because the, this duck is going to, like I said, has a lot of fat in it. And you see how well I season it? I'm gonna use that juice and that fat and make me a nice little, well, I guess you can call it gravy. It's not gonna be as thick as gravy. I'm gonna make a sauce out of it to go with the duck. And it's gonna go on top of that dressing. I'm telling you y'all, this is my childhood right here, y'all. Childhood. I'm just put a little water in the bottom. A little bit more. And I'm gonna put it over 350 degrees uncovered. Now, after two hours, I'm gonna look at this thing. And you just depend on the duck. Every duck is different. You got them tough ducks, you got them easy ducks. Ducks have been running around a lot, and some ducks have been lazy, just sitting around all day. Those are easy when they cook. The one been running around and chasing bugs and and, and bread or whatever, those are the ducks that take longer to cook because they tougher. So we're going to check it out for two hours. Uncut. If it's starting to get brown and still ain't toughen up, I'm going to put some foil over the top of it and then let it continuously cook. I'm going to cook this duck almost 98% off because I'm going to take it out of the oven right before it's completely done. I'm going to have some dressing already made up. As a matter of fact, I got my cornbread here. Been sitting up for two days now. I'm gonna make me some dressing. 
I'm gonna put the dressing in my bacon dish. I'm gonna set the duck right in the middle of it, just like my grandma used to do hers. Set the duck right in the middle of it, and I'm gonna bake it off for about maybe another 15, 20 minutes until my dressing gets done. And we're gonna have us some awesome. While that's baking in the oven, I'm gonna make my sauce. And then when all that come out, we're gonna have some duck and dressing. And that nice gravy go on top. Shoot, it's on here. Vlogmas day 13. We're just getting started. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back here. Okay, look, y'all, the duck is pretty much 95% ready. See that? Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my dressing. I got some dressing here that I'm going to put together. The first thing, I'm going to show you something else I'm about to do here. Once I take this duck out of here, I'm going to show y'all when I come back. First, I'm going to put my dressing, get it together, put it in here, place the duck in here. See this nice liquid here? That is excellent for gravy. That's excellent. It's got all them drippings off the duck. It's got all that flavor to come off the duck. And I'm going to make a little uh, sauce here to go with the with the duck and, uh, and the uh, dressing. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to step off here, put my dressing together. I got my cornbread here, you see? I got my cornbread all uh, crumbled up here. I got my old school uh, stock, uh, turkey stock. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. See this? Y'all have seen this before. See this? On different Thanksgiving. See that nice rich stock for the gravy, for the uh, dressing. And I'm going to put my dressing together. You've seen this before. I did it last for, the, for Thanksgiving. So I ain't going to put this on video. I'm going to knock this out right quick. And then I'm going to come back, put the duck in the dressing, and then we're going to show you the gravy for the dressing. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, are we back? Okay, I got my dressing here. See how I put the duck right in the middle? Just like my grandmother used to do it, y'all. Just like she was to do it. Okay, now, remember them drippings I had in the pan? I was telling y'all. I'm going to pour that right in here. See that? That is flavor, flavor, flavor right there, y'all. That is what they call town right there. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this on the stove here. We're gonna bring it to a little boil and we're gonna uh, season it up. We don't have to season it up. I got my roux there, I'm gonna add to it. And uh, we're gonna tighten it up just a little while this stuff is cooking in the oven. I'm telling y'all, this is some good eating. This is my childhood since I was a knee high to a grasshopper like they say in the country. Growing up, this was the highlight of my Christmas dinner. I'm going to my grandmother's eating duck and dressing. So, anyway, I'll be right back, y'all, once I get this in the oven. Clean up a little, and we're going to make this uh, gravy right quick. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Y'all got, got some stock here to make uh, some more dressing here. I'm going to make some more dressing on actual Christmas morning. That's why I saved, uh, made an extra stock there for my dressing. I'm going to make some more. So, anyway, I got my stock here, y'all. Cut dripping to come out of the turkey. And all I did is put a little roux in there. See that roux right there? And we're gonna tighten this up. See that? Look at look at that. Look at that nice natural. It's just natural duck gravy right there. Look at how pretty that is. Remember, I didn't strain it, I didn't do nothing. I used every bit of the goodness here, and I'm gonna taste this. I know. 99% chance I ain't going to need no seasoning. Mm -mm. No, sir. Oh, my God. That's amazing, y'all. A little bit more room. That's it. Cook this down about a couple of minutes. Get my little oil here for it to go in. That's gravy. That natural gravy. See that? That's why I put that, uh, I'm going to add a little water to this, get it out. And I can put a little bit too much roux in there, put a little water in there, thin it out. Get a bit more. Oh yeah, that's perfect there, there we go. Put this water out this bowl. Let it cook just a little here. Get that flour taste out of there. There we go. 
know what? I'm gonna add a little black pepper, y'all. Not much. Little black pepper to this. Just get a little kick there. That's it. Pour it in the bowl. Got my little bowl here. Pour it up in the bowl there. Look at that. That's natural duck gravy right there. See that? Yes, sir. So anyway, I'll be back when it's time to plate this thing up. And we're going to have a nice duck and dressing. Nice homemade gravy right off the drippings or right off the pan of the duck. It don't get no better than this. Vlogmas day 13, almost finished. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back. And it is dinner time. Lunch time, brunch time, however you want to put it, y'all. This duck is ready. It's been sitting here in about, about 10 minutes or so, trying to let it cool off. Nice crispy skin there, Lou. Like I say, y'all, this is my childhood. And I'm so excited to dig into this. Let me give y'all a close up. This thing's hot. I'm gonna do this, hopefully I don't drop it on the floor. I have to give y'all a close-up camera view. Look at that. If y'all can see that, see that? A nice duck, juicy duck dressing. Tell you, this is what it's all about right here on Christmas for me. I don't know about y'all. Okay, let me scoop me a little of this dressing. I know it's nice and moist here. Oh yeah, get some out that corner. Oh my God, y'all. Mm. Look at that nice moist dressing. Get no better than that. Okay. That leg should just pull right apart, huh? Should be able to pull that leg right off of that. Look at that. Oh, you can just see the juices. Like that. Don't want to act right. There we go. Cut a little of this breast here. Look at that breast. Not like duck breast, y'all. Look at that. You see that duck breast here. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all remember that gravy I had? I got it back here. I actually put it back in the pot, y'all. I'm going to warm it back up later. Put a little gravy on that dressing. Gravy on that duck. Telling y'all, this is what it's all about. Look at this. Look at that little plate of goodness. That dressing with that natural gravy, the duck with that natural gravy. If you never had duck, y'all, you don't know what you're missing. It's better than chicken, it's better than turkey, because there's so much more flavor and, and the moistness, it's, it's, it's unmistakable. And the breast is so juicy automatically. A little, a little duck breast there. A little bit of dressing here. A little bit of dressing on there. Woo. Give y'all the first bite like they do on them mukbangs. This thing is hot. Y'all had the first bite on this one. It's hot. Y'all had the first bite. Mm. Oh my God. Mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm telling you. Mm, all I can say. Mm. Oh my God. I'm gonna dress him. I got the little corner with the crispy side. Yeah. I have to excuse me for a minute. Just can't get no better. Try y'all. If you never had duck before, you have to try it. And you know what, what's going to really top it off? But I'm going to eat something later on this evening. For dinner, I just some cranberry sauce with that. All that flavor, the sweetness of the cranberry sauce, the saltiness of the dressing, and the. Mmm. Oh. Man. Okay, y'all. Let me close this video out. Uh, if you like this video, please share. Please comment. Please subscribe. You follow my other social media accounts. Hold on, y'all. I didn't even do that right, but I see this. It's duck skin. I love. 
I'm gonna do it that way. I love the skin of the duck. Now, this way I should close it. Blogmas day 13 in the books. Okay, now I can close it. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, Twitter, and oldschoolsofood.com. Remember the hashtag? We've got a couple more weeks to go with the 2021. Put that hashtag out there. Let's close out good. Help somebody old school soul food. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day, and I'll see y'all in the next video, which is tomorrow, Prime Real Day. Love y'all. Bye. Vlogmas Day 13, done.